just another day in Afghanistan. Worst day was definitely when uh, first platoon was hit. Um, lost two soldiers, and then uh, another day when second platoon platoon sergeant was hit. Also, a few of my leadership was uh, was also uh, injured. That was definitely the. It was right around a week span, I believe. And that was definitely probably the worst week. Uh, Private First Class Bennett uh, from Indiana, Shelbyville. Uh, names of Private First Class Frank Franco from Chicago, Illinois. About 500 meters, 500, 600 meters. Out. It's a dude in red. Worst day out here would probably be. Uh, That was this one week where we uh, took three KIAs right here. Two of them uh, were, well, one of them was my platoon sergeant in the age. The other one was uh, my roommate at one point. Yeah, that was pretty pretty hard and uh, the memorial service too was kind of hard on taking that. Bad days. SOG to ECP, uh, firing has ceased, uh, there, we don't see anything. 1-5, Future Battalion, Alpha Company, 2nd Battalion. My ACO 1-5. Demo S, 11 Bravo. Bravo. Infantrymen. Infantrymen, it's a uh, different kind of jobs depending on the job that they uh, assign you. It's uh, For me, it would be uh, a driver and a uh, dismounted rifleman. Getting out in the field is what I wanted to do, instead of sitting on a copper fob all the time or something or I, I just like getting out in the field. I thought it'd be more fun. Just relax and then the A and A just started shooting. At this time I started opening fire down that way. Yeah. Dude all of a sudden, like five, six feet away from me, bullet lands. Pow. Yeah, Whoa. best told me one it's landed near him too. It's getting real. Get it on man. Yeah. Get it on. We just recently, in the past few months, pushed into this area, and it was really heavy area for other units to get into. And uh, we did a good clearing up, and uh, we were able to clear the area, and we were able to slowly push, build a road uh, down here, and we were able to build a cop out here, and it's been able to push out a little bit. Uh, there's some, we're still building roads out a little further, and slowly trying to push further and it's getting better, clearing more IEDs. Those days probably uh, summer of uh, August when I uh, woke up that morning and said getting ready to go on R&R &R for a little bit, get a little break, get a little break, go home, see the family, relax. Come back over here. Keep driving on. Definitely leave. I mean, just knowing that you're getting out of this uh, district and going back to CAF felt good, and then get ready to get on the plane to go home. It's definitely good. Uh, I'd like to thank all the soldiers of Second Platoon and uh, all those soldiers that. Were with us and now they're gone. It's for their leadership, for their uh, support, and their caring that they gave us. Thanks to my parents for their support. And uh, see you guys back in the USA soon.